Ah, hello, and it's a blessed morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another morning prayer session. Your prayers said aloud in the privacy of your own home, your heartfelt concerns, your private walk with God. I just begin the prayers, but you must finish them with your own heartfelt concerns. And, and you will not believe the miracles that will happen in your life if you do this every day. So <clears throat> we'll begin with my prayer. <clears throat> Beloved God, I thank you for this wonderful method of prayer, this method of each of us praying aloud, our heartfelt concerns walking hand in hand with you on our own paths. I thank the generations that have brought this method of prayer to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and Virginia Ellen who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga, so anybody can do it anywhere, anytime they want. Thanks to all the generations and I thank you, God. Amen. Now, if you'll repeat after me, we'll say the Sacred Heart Yoga morning prayer. <clears throat> Beloved God, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul. To the fulfillment of my destiny. in service to you, my God. And I allow myself to be purified of fear as I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and your love of me, O oh God. And I give thanks for these blessings, these moments I can share. with my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul in oneness with your love, O oh God. And so it is Amen. Um. <clears throat> now the <clears throat> next thing we're going to do is try to clear our minds of our daily distractions. They're just fears. Fear will keep us from being able to love. You just can't have somebody holding a gun to your head and you still love them. I mean, that's fear prevents love. So we want to release our fears to God. We want to, to from, we'll do this twice in the Sacred Heart Yoga. This first time we do a motion with our arm. We take our right hand up to the 12 o'clock position. We'll move it slowly over to the 3 o'clock position, our right knee, left knee, 9 o'clock position, and then back up to the 12 o'clock position. As we do this motion... Repeat after me these words. Beloved God, I clear my energy field of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your light, your love, O oh God.
Om. Now we always end our prayers with Om. And the rest of our prayers, <clears throat> you you need to finish with your own heartfelt concerns if you have any to add to it. I'll try to always give you enough time. Um, and I'll, I'll say, and here our prayers begin with, and then you repeat what I say, just a few words at the beginning, and then you finish it with your own heartfelt concerns. So here we're going to ask God, how may we serve you? And the answer comes to me in no more than one or two words or a heartfelt feeling. Uh, every now and then it'll be nothing at all. But whatever comes to me, even nothing at all, I, I put into the rest of my prayers, just listening as I pray. And I always get an answer. Every single day I get an answer. I get information, I get knowledge, I get God's love guiding me, asking me to do something. And so we'll go ahead and do this. We take our right hands over our hearts and here our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you this day? Om. Now we <clears throat> are going to stand up and announce out loud what came to us. We stand straight and tall, our arms at our sides, our palms forward. And here our prayers begin with, My intention to serve your love, O oh God, is to Om. Now we're going to sing the word Amen three times. Any tune we want, as loud as we want. This is saying the word of Amen three times was how an oath was sealed in Aramaic in Jesus' tongue. So here we'll sing it in the privacy of our own homes. Amen. 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 Now we're going to sit back down on our mats. <clears throat> Lay down on our backs, getting into what's called resting position, which is our arms comfortably at our sides, our legs outstretched.
Here we begin by pulling our right knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Om. <clears throat> now we take our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, and let our right knee fall down to the mat, and our right arm get stretched out straight above our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we take our right foot in our right hand, hold it down near our pelvis, and our left arm goes straight up above our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we point our right foot up towards the heavens, holding it with our right hand, left arm still stretched out above our heads down to the mat, and our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you. And I thank you for um, now we take our right foot let it fall down to the mat our knee down to the mat opening our pelvis you know on the right side of our bodies opening our pelvis as wide as we can our arms fall straight out from our chest down to the mat palms up and here our prayers begin with god my true father I love you, and I thank you for
Um. Now keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat, we turn our heads to the right and our right foot comes over across our bodies over to the left side down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting position and we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with God, my true mother, I love you. And I thank you for all. Now we hold our left foot in our right hand, pull it over to our right thigh, letting our left knee fall down to the mat. And we let our, take our left arm straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you, and I thank you for Um. <clears throat> now we take our left hand and hold our left foot down near our pelvis. And we take our right arm and extend it straight up above our heads, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we point our left foot up towards the heavens, holding it with our left hand, and our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you, and I thank you for
Um. Now we let our left leg fall out to the left side of our bodies, down to the mat, our knee on the mat, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. And we let our arms fall straight out from our, our shoulders, down to the mat, palms up. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you with all my heart. And I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the left. Our left leg comes and keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat, our left leg goes straight up over across our bodies to the right side, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And this time we're going to ask God, we're going to surrender our fears for a second time to God. So we just clear our minds of anything that's been bothering us, filling us with fear. And we do this by, <clears throat> excuse me, putting our hands under our sit bones, leaning forward on our elbows, trying to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And as we do this, our prayers begin with, God, I surrender to you Now we go back to resting position and we reach for the heavens with our left hand. It falls over to the right side of our body, stretching our left shoulder and back. And we take our right hand halfway between our left shoulder and left elbow and stretch our shoulder and back farther. And here our prayers begin with God. Being in your service, I choose to oh. 
Oh. <clears throat> now we reach for the heavens with our right hand. Let it fall over to the left side of our bodies, our stretching our right shoulder, and we take our left hand halfway between our right shoulder and right elbow, stretching our right shoulder and back farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your service, I can Oh. Now we go back to resting position. <clears throat> and this time we pull our feet up to our pelvis, soles of our feet down on the mat. And we let our Knees fall out to the outside. This forms a triangle below our bodies. A tabernacle, a house of God. <clears throat> we form a second tabernacle above our hearts by putting our hands in prayer position over our hearts, extending them up two-thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this tabernacle, this house of God above our hearts, we find God's beautiful chalice of any gift that we could ever desire, want, or need, as long as we use them only in service to God. And as long as we use them in service to God and not to glorify ourselves, we'll get to keep them. We use them wrongly, we'll lose them. And so here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts to me of Um. Now we, keeping our hands in prayer position, <clears throat> we put them down at the tops of our heads, right down to the mat, our elbows falling out to the sides. This forms a tabernacle or house of God over our entire body. So here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, my soul. Um, now we're going <clears> to <throat> start the anointing series. The anointing series, we keep our hands in prayer position throughout the whole four prayers of each anointing. And we repeat it twice. That's why it's called uh, an anointing series. So it's two sets of four prayers. We keep our hands in prayer position during all four prayers each time. And we begin by putting our thumbs up to our foreheads and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Oh. 
Aum. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I will only use them in your service. Your gifts to me of Um. <clears throat> now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position. And here our prayers begin with. God. I thank you for your gifts to me of Um, <clears throat> now we do a motion. We point our fingers down into our abdomens, hands in prayer position. And we extend them out to the three o'clock position right above our pelvis. And like the arms of a clock, we move them counterclockwise up towards the heavens at the 12 o'clock position. And then down to the mat at the nine o'clock position over our heads. As we do this, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, my soul with your gifts to me of Oh. <clears throat> now we start the second in the anointing series. Take our thumbs back to our foreheads and our prayers begin with. God, I anoint your gifts to me of... Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I promise to only use them in your service, your gifts to me of
Om. <clears throat> now we take our hands down over our hearts and our prayers begin with God, I thank you for your gifts to me of Um, now we point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend them out to the three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock positions. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, my soul with your gifts to me of Um. Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, our legs outstretched. We cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for always protecting me for always keeping me safe. Oh. Now we roll over on our sides, pushing ourselves back up into sitting position, using our arms and our hands. And we sit up and we extend our right leg straight out in front of us. I may have had a problem there. Uh, the computer just kind of went haywire. I hope it was working. I guess we'll find out at the end. Um, so anyway, here we extend our right leg straight out in front of us. Our left foot goes across our right knee. Our, we hold our left knee with our right arm. Our left arm goes behind our backs twisting our heads, our shoulders, our backs to the left. And here our prayers begin with, desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. God, in your service, I desire to
Om. <clears throat> now we take our left foot straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes across our left knee. Our, we t hold our right knee with our left arm. Our right arm goes behind our backs for support. And we twist our heads, our shoulders, and our backs to the right. And our prayers begin with, God, will I am, will I am, will I am. In your service, I will. Um. Now we get up on our knees. We put our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for Um, now we form a tr uh, triangle, a tabernacle with our hands, putting the tips of our thumbs together, the tips of our first fingers together. We put them down on the mat with our foreheads in the triangle, the tabernacle, the house of God, and made by our hands, and we just feel... God's love filling the world around us. We feel God's love penetrating our bodies. Um, now we go back to sitting position. We extend our right leg out to the right side, and our left foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh, our knees down on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your service, I will become... Oh. 
Om. Now we extend our left leg out to the left side of our bodies. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left side, left thigh. And here our prayers begin with God, in your service, I am. Um. Now we go back to sitting position and we put our hands on our knees, thumbs touching our middle two fingers, sitting straight and tall. We bow forward at our pelvis, keeping our back straight, leaning over. And here, our prayers begin with, I bow to you, God, for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Um. Now we sit back up straight and tall a second time, bowing forward at our pelvis, keeping our back straight. And here our prayers begin with, I bow to you, O God of love, my father, my mother, the one, the oneness. Um. <clears throat> now we sit up straight and tall once again. And this time we feel where our pelvis is grounded down to the mat on the left side and right side of our pelvis. On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's wonderful white light of love, of nurturing, of protecting. This white light fills our legs to the tips of our toes, comes up through our abdomens. God's love, God's white light fills every cell in our abdomens. It comes up to our hearts, our lungs, filling every cell. It goes into our arms to the tips of our fingers, filling our, our arms and our hands. Goes up through our throats into our minds, filling our minds with the peace of God's love. It goes out the tops of our heads and up high, high into the sky, as high as we can imagine. And then it expands out. The white light expands out over the whole earth and rains down God's love and nurturing on every living creature. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis God's blue light of truth, of knowing that God is real. This blue light fills our legs to the fullest, to the tips of our toes. It fills our abdomens, every cell in our abdomens. It fills our hearts, our lungs, our arms all the way to the tips of our fingers with the truth of God's love and truth of God's knowledge and being. 
comes up through our throats and into our minds, filling our minds with God's truth. And it goes out the tops of our heads, this blue light shooting as high as it can up into the skies. And then it fans out in all directions, covering the whole earth. And it rains down God's truth on every living creature. Now we can stand up, step up into the light above our heads and stay as long as we want, ask anything we want. But the one thing we should always ask before leaving is, God, what do I need to know this day? <laughs>